charge your light. Victory in your upright. Psychic eyesight, sacred infinite, pure awareness, insight, holy heaven birthright, inside light. In welcome, welcome, welcome again to Insight Light as Love featuring our mystic astrologer, master musician, beautiful poet, and my dad, Dreary Chica, and myself, <laughs> called Hannah Nora. And we are so grateful. And as usual, uh, first of all, I have these headphones on today, as you can as you can notice, because you know computers and technology. I have new computers, so we're working we're working with that. So that's why I have my headphones on today, which I normally don't. So giving thanks, as we normally start, to the divine, holy, sacred, creator, life force of us all that animates us all we give thanks we give thanks to our beloved ancestors the ones whose names we know the, the ones whose names we don't know and yes deeply thanks deeply give thanks to our ancestral ancestors the first who came forth on this beautiful magnificent planet earth we give thanks and we have two beautiful lovely soul God sisters who are going to come forth and share with us today and we give thanks that they are you know in their divine patience as we as we move through and spending this hour together and so I first want to do this for the mother earth because we know we talked about that this is you know earth earth day but we Earth Day should be every day right so I wanted to just share this little bit before you know Tuary comes uh, forth and and we meet our our first guest uh, sister Jackie we're going to meet her first um, and um, it's something I used to do with preschoolers that I, I taught before you know we had this you know in place um, and uh, it was in honor of Earth Day so I would bring in my Djembe jump with drum, which I'm not going to play, you know, <laughs> today. I'm just going to do it, um, you know, just a cappella. But it's giving thanks to the earth, all right? So I would just want to do that, and then we'll bring Tuere on, all right? So I would sing to the kids, and maybe we'd have a drum circle together, right? And we go, hey, yana, ho, yana, hey, yana, ho. Hey Anna, ho Anna, hey Anna, ho. The earth is like our mother. We must take care of her. The earth is like our mother. We must take care of her. And we sang, hey Anna, ho Anna, hey Anna, ho. Hey Yana, ho Yana, hey Yana, ho! We sing. The sky is like our father. We must take care of him. The sky is like our father. We must take care of him. Sing with me. Hey Yana, ho Yana, hey Yana, ho! Hey Yana, ho Yana, hey Yana, ho! And the waters are like our sisters, you know, we've got to take care of them. The waters are like our sisters, we must take care of them. And the trees are like our brothers, we must take care of them. The trees are like our brothers, we must take care of them. Well, Last time, hey Yana, ho Yana, hey Yana, ho, hey Yana, ho Yana, hey Yana, ho. Ha! All right, Tuire, where are you? <laughs> wow, that was so beautiful. That was so beautiful. So perfect. How are you? I'm divinely list in this existence that we live in. And I'm so grateful for today's special broadcast. I'm so thankful that uh, you have invited uh, once again, 
sisters, superstars, uh, into uh, Insight Light is Love family. Uh, stick around and pay attention because we have uh, sisters in alignment with their mission that are bringing forth some love and light today that will inspire, uplift, heal, regenerate, motivate, and this is what you've been praying for. Just to be <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. At this time, at this auspicious time, and um, I want to introduce you to Miss Jackie Fuller. You know, Miss Jackie and I. You know, we we attended at one time. You know, the same church, but she was always expressing you know, herself in a way that brought people together. And you'll find out more about that as you meet her. So would you please meet this lovely sister, Miss Sister Jackie? Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> How do you like that, Miss Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. Oh, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. Look at you. Smile and glow. Thank you. Glow. Taking a break from the braids. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. So thankful for your being, Jackie. And I just um, looked at uh, <clears throat> your natal chart, your coordinates. Uh, Wow, full moon child. This full moon is going to really. <laughs> <laughs> may gonna may really... I just ask? I'm sorry. Could you yes. just bring ja you and Miss ja and, and Sister Jackie oh, up? You do. You know what? I'm thank you for thank you for reminding me of that because this multitasking and uh, we work together. We work together. This is good. Okay, but oh <laughs> well, we went through this before. <laughs> In other words, yeah, I can remove you from the screen like that and then do this. How about that? Oh, good. Oh, wow. okay. I'm, cool. uh, I'm, a, I'm a dummy with a smartphone. Uh, oh, my gosh. Trying to find my way home. <laughs> oh, what I was saying is that, um, yeah, this is a beautiful situation, you know, as, as a, a full moon child or just a day after the full moon, the uh, uh disseminating moon phase of that month very powerful conjunct chiron you are the healer but what i wanted to say is that the degree of the moon when you were born jackie is very close to the degrees of the full moon tomorrow evening uh, eastern standard time in the evening here uh this is a full moon some are calling this a pink moon super moon and all this yeah you know, i've been hearing about that fame because uh there's an inner uh, as you know, an inner flow, an inner direction, an inner guidance. And you just don't, you know, listen to what the masses say. The masses are often like doing what the herd say and what they heard. But what I'm saying here is that um, this moon is going to be a very intense moon, not because they call it a pink moon, which has something to do with flowers around the time <laughs> of, of year. Uh, with the history of it, but it's because of the T-square with Saturn uh, and all the planets uh, in Taurus right now where the moon is. And by the way, having a moon in Taurus like this, dear, it gives you such a great ability to help ground and center those around you and to have emotional stability because, yeah, there is emotional intensity in your being. and But it also has given you the gift of understanding human behavior, especially when it comes to desire and passion and um, um, impulse and compulsiveness and obsessions and sexual drive and things like this, you know, to be able to help women, especially and others through these, um, you know, uh, overwhelming intense times in life. So you did a behavior specialist that I help bringing people uh, through and able to be in the fire, but stay centered in the in the in the core of the storm while the tempestuous uh, drama is happening around you, and to help to pull people out of their drama into the intensity. Your love has always been uh, expressed with the most tender touch of interpersonal. 
uh, one of my beautiful brothers, uh, Baba Rosti, refreshed my insight yesterday saying, you know, a lot of people, they're on this mission now, interracial mission, this interracial mission. He said, but um, they forgot, they skipped a step, the interpersonal. How are you going to be interracial without being interpersonal? You are interpersonal. Mm -hmm. Uh, what does this mean? Your ability to melt and to merge and to enter into the being, psycho, physical, emotional, that you're, so the inner standing comes from deep and often with us knucklehead, um, egotistical guys, we're in denial and we don't even know that we're acting like a robot until you come along and express it in your tender, loving way, but tough love at times to reveal what we're not even aware of. So you're bringing, ooh, man, you're diving deep and you're bringing uh, these gifts of insight, of healing out of the invisible, unseen world. Does this make any sense to you, Jackie Fuller? <laughs> yes, it does. It does. Very yes, it does. good. And I'm so thankful that you are here uh, paying attention to the details. You do it and you work harder than anybody work. Um, one of the the cautions would be um, relax, detach from the mind. And, and you're gifted for that. I mean, but the mind loves to work, analyze, study, pay attention to detail. This is good because you do it better than most people around you. However, swinging to the opposite pole, you know, the mind is always yanging, 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 yanging to, to calculate the back measure. It's like, what is your computer biocomputer what your your utility it's not who you are so mind be still as i get into intuition and heal detach remember to detach from that mind let go of that mind because really uh there's two there's this other information transmission is coming from your heart from your feeling your feeling what you feel brings you through your love space um when you were born, uh, wow, uh, Mercury, Uranus, Mars, Venus, and Scorpio all together, opposite that moon, Chiron, and Taurus. You know, it's just really powerful healing energy. And it's saying to you that, you know, there's a, uh, a death and a rebirth that continues to recycle in your being and death becomes your ally where you when it's time to let things go and release things people places ideas emotions judgments and whatever needs to be severed that's the deaths and you're teaching people to shout or work in this death i'm so thankful that you have appeared here today with your glowing i mean please share with us uh how you have been expressing these gifts and uh, characteristics. <laughs> uh, well, I've been very fortunate. I always said since, I guess, I would say definitely since probably like my later teens that I've always known like part of my um, calling or spiritual work is in the interfaith world. It's just, at first I had to just figure out how that was going to be. And then what I've just learned is you pretty much, when you know what your other gifts are, you're in that position where you can combine it. So fortunately with my communications media background, that's where it seems to manifest the best and it's the most needed in a lot of circles. Um, so I've been blessed to do that through those avenues. And then I've been working on my um, Interfaith Connections TV show, which I'm transitioning that to YouTube now, but I've been doing that since 2012. Yeah. So coming up on 10 years next year and things have even evolved from that project, doing my own um, pub theology gatherings. I've been doing a lot of, you know, doing that each month, particularly now with everything being virtual. So I was able to even make the transition to do that. So that's been pretty, that's been pretty cool, but it's interesting, even in that work, I'm always like, 
what's next or what's going to be the next uh, step for me. And I'm also glad you mentioned about <laughs> the thing about like my mind is always going and thinking that is like very true. Um, even yesterday, I just decided I'm just going to watch some movies and just not think about what's happening in the world. I'm just going to enjoy um, a couple of movies on Disney Plus, watch some Marvel <laughs> and just call it a day. Because I realized I'm like, I'm always busy. I'm always on the go. And I'm like, and I say, yeah, I need to um, change that up a bit and relax more. So it's interesting that you mentioned that. Now I'm at the phase where I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen with me professionally because i already have like i mentioned before that kind of spiritual religious interfaith component that's working but i know this half and now i have to see what the other half is going to look like so it's kind of like you know what you got going on this side and then you also have some things on this other side you have to figure out and move forward in that area where everything is going to sync up and come into place so i have half of the whole when it comes to things happening with me professionally That's a thing. and and uh uh professionally you know you know as you already know we we follow our heart what fulfills mm -hmm. where our enthusiasm is Those right and we see you serving humanity what's motivating you to be doing these multi social media express what's what's your core motivation i just i think for me it's just that's where people are right now um, I used to be in the advocacy, when I say in the advocacy political space, and it was just so toxic in that area. And I was just like, yeah, I can't do this anymore. It was just like the vibe over there wasn't um, syncing with things that I personally believed in. And it was just like, it makes sense, Jackie, to focus more on the spiritual side and where that energy is and find like-minded spaces for that. So I'm big. I mean, diversity has always just been a part of my life. Um, never had to be in an environment where I had to like felt like it was forced. Like people try to get people from different religions and races together. But fortunately for me, it's always been a natural flow, and that also includes um, things come up dealing with um, having inclusive. Because as as we know, just because your environment is diverse doesn't mean it's inclusive, <laughs> which is something I explain a lot to people. So I thought about that yes. even maybe. Um, <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, maybe somehow, maybe take some of the things I've learned on the diversity side and maybe make that into my, um, as part of my next step career. But I've also, I also have a science side to myself. So I, that's why I'm big in a lot of the digital communications. I have an interest in meteorology and I would like to continue, continue my trainings in that. So it's just a matter now of being in a time in my life where I felt like I put so much off just to make ends meet financially. Whereas now it's like, now I'll use this time to honor yourself and do the things you want to do. So fortunately the interfaith stuff is going well. It's just now looking at those other components. Um, how do I and balance all, this theology and all that? They're all oh, what's that? They're all interconnected, <laughs> love it. They are, yes and they are. what I'm saying yeah. to you is that, um, you know, yeah, it would be from your home you know, as, uh, you know, that the innovation and the, the insights come to you. And, you know, you're talking about the monies, the material, the green energy. Yes. But as you do what you love, as you do what you're passionate about, what you wake up excited about, what, as you get responses, it makes, gives you that fulfillment. It's going to create a green. So you're a healer. So healing is going to be applied in everything you do. So look, feel, listen to what's going down and around and you see the need on the planet where humanity is. There's no greater service than meeting that that need in that humanity. Now, in neural, I mean, yes, in like <laughs> a star by almighty by far. <laughs> yes, indeed. And and I also I also know um, that that she, you're going to be expanding in a way I sense, you know, in a, in a, in a, in even a larger way, even though you've, you've worked with the cable TV, cause I was on your show there maybe once or twice. Remember when you were doing that locally? Yeah. 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 And, and, and the work that you're doing with the, with the pub theology and bringing diverse, you know, expressions of faith together, you're going to really appreciate and enjoy this, you know, sister Dr. Nateri, who's going to come forth as well. Um, and when, when she shares with you, her heart, her soul, and her purpose, and how she's been living that. And and we trust you're going to stay with us so that, you know, after that happens, we can, you know, just have 
some dialogue like the four of us, you know, in closing. You'll 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 stay with us, Jackie. Yeah. Great, great, that's, great. Yeah, that's fine. Thank okay. You so much. And I also want you to stay with us uh, to add to the conversation as um, uh, addressing, you know, the young women, the young melanated women, especially, and uh, what you would uh, say to inspire, motivate, and heal and give clarity uh, to them in their situations and uh, through everything that we've been through. I know that um, you're on the you, you're in the synchronicity mix, your receptivity and empathic uh, abilities is, is, is right there to share. So we want you to, you know, think about that and or feel, <laughs> feel about that. You know, uh, feelings are, are pretty powerful and there's a psychic feeling, you know, there's a psychic uh, to every sense. You know, there's a psychic part of it. And that's what is happening. And this full moon is going to help bring some more of that out for you. But Nana Nora, we, okay, so yes. we're like, we're going to bring on. Yes, we are. And and in, in, in so doing, I just want to just briefly say, when when you you meet her, or when I introduce you to her and, and you start sharing, she starts sharing, um, you'll understand why I, I consider her to be um, my spiritual mentor, because yes. it was it was through her that I was introduced to studying, you know, the ancient spiritual wisdom of our ancient African ancestors, and I was searching for that for for a time. And the how I was introduced to her was for, through another sister friend when I was having issues with my with my marriage, and she said, "You must read this book called uh, On the Way to Meeting y Your Soulmate." Uh, by oh, by Terry okay. Nelson, and and so She's when I mean or something. Yeah. I'm writing it down. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay, and um, and that was the the first book. I mean, that was the first book that got me into that, that I was introduced to her, and then I was so moved by it. And you you can appreciate this story because it was the poetry, the way that she expressed herself. In, in her poetry as she you know as she talked about this this in, inner soul thing that she felt in seeking for her her her, her soulmate and so I contacted her uh, and, you know let her know how I was so moved by it and um, so there was a way of con that she had of connecting with me and I think it might have been two years uh, after that that I got a, a, an email indicating that she was starting this class you know, in, in Boston and I didn't live too far from it. And, and so I went to it and that was, that was the beginning. That was the beginning of my connection with her. And um, she's uh, beloved to me as many people are, but beloved to me, very special because I was always searching for the divine feminine, you yes. know, in my, in my spiritual seeking. And it was through that, you know, and I remember, you know, saying to her when she asked us, those of us who attended the class, what one word could you give that, that that expresses why you hear, what your purpose is, what your intention is? And I remember saying, balance. I seek balance. Balance of the divine, you know, feminine with the sacred masculine. I seek that. So with that, you know, um, one of the first books, she's several books, you, you know, you'll find out about, um, was Building the Lighted Temple. And we are that. So oh. with that, with that, I would, it is my honor above honor, to introduce you, you know, to Eri Chica, to Dr. T Nateri Nelson. Could you? <laughs> there she is! <laughs> it will tap, everyone. Oh, it's tap, beloved. So it. yeah. to meet you, to see you, Nora, and to meet you, Torre, and Jackie, beloved, just a joy to be here. And I have to say, uh, S Sister Nora, that I could hear you singing "Reascension into Sacredness" while I was on, in the backstage there, and uh, if I just told you a little bit about that song, I was on a retreat, and uh, I S Spirit was revealing these these I could hear these these words coming through and. 
and and for a moment i had this feeling of well why are you giving me a song i can't <laughs> sing <laughs> but but i was dutiful so i i found uh i had a little pen and little scrap of paper and i just wrote down words uh and to the song which is or just held up called reascension into sacredness and spirit has someone mentioned synchronicity and you know that everything is in divine order and so then nora comes along <laughs> with this beautiful gift and so and every time nora sings i get tearful <laughs> it was it's it's like it's, it just does something to my soul. There is like a quickening. My heart beats a little faster, and it's just it's just so magnificent when you sing Nora. So to have Nora sing this song, uh, you know, put the put the put the music to it, and to sing it was just coming full circle uh, in our academy. And if if I hadn't been dutiful. If I said, oh, I can't sing, you know, <laughs> wrote down the words and the the magic and the blessing appears. And yes. so it's a gift to it's it's so I've I have already received a gift today. Yes. Uh in 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 your singing, Nora, in your reading, Tore, and and hearing your words, Jackie. Wow, we are just excited that you're here, Dr. Nateri Nelson, and there is a, just a unending train of positive service and contribution and enlightenment that you have been just so gracefully uh, just ramificating and fructifying humanity with. I'm so thankful <laughs> we look fructifying. Yes. That's a new one. I'm Dr. Kim. Just... <laughs> oh, you're coming to another wordsmith over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. And we thank you and your husband and, and, and your uh, family and spiritual family for all that you have contributed. And thank you so much for appearing here. Uh, we want you here uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, uh, you know, anytime uh, you want to speak to us on WPFW radio, please let me know because what you are saying, what you are doing, and most of all, what you are exemplifying is some next level where we are right now and where we should be quantum leaping in. So I'm going to just sit back and allow you to just um, express um, whatever your beloved heart feels today, dear. Ah, uh, do I all, do I all. Thank you so much, thank you. So, well, where do I begin? I, I am a, a metaphysician, a clinician, and an educator. And I came into this life, <laughs> I'm sure, as a metaphysician, always wanting to know that which is deeper, that which lay in back of, uh, you know, I, I can remember as a child, when I first opened my conscious eyes, at, you know, at about three years of age, I would go into the bathroom. And if I balanced myself just right, uh, by um, having one foot on the tub and sort of leaning on the sink, I could catch my reflection in the mirror. <laughs> and, 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 and I would stand, I would stand there gazing into my eyes because I knew there was a presence and a power in back of my eyes, and I I I just knew that if I looked long enough and hard enough, I would be able to see that presence and that power. And so what life was teaching me then is that there is that power in presence behind the back of everyone's eyes. So I look in, I look in everyone's eyes, I look in my doll's eyes, I look everywhere to see, see into the soul, to see, to see into the soul. So I began as a, a, a meta, metaphysician and the, you know, that, that has taken me into these deep, deep uh, studies and and I've and so I've been I am co-founder of the Academy of Kinetic Education and Wellness, 
where I teach an African-centered model for psychological, spiritual, and character development, which is underpinned by our African and diaspora uh, history. And, you know, um, and when we, when, when I would study African history, everything, as I simultaneously was studying as a metaphysician, everything took Took us, took me back to th that primal source because there is no other source except the primal source. We are the original people, and we have to go to that primal source to find out what the world has generously borrowed from, or as in the words of George James, stolen. Mm. Uh, then, um, uh, simultaneously with that, I, as a clinician, um, you know, wanting to always wanting from the very beginning, wanting to help people. And so going into that traditional training to learn how to help, uh, you know, getting the bachelor's degree, getting the master's degree, getting in the metaphysical studies, another master's and, and then a, a, a doctoral and esoteric um, philosophy. So, um, and th th those are, Two prong, um, having what what are the foundations of our academy are right relationship and right knowledge. Uh, the the right relationship piece under our nature maat, the deity maat, is how to have right relationship with us with ourselves. Start there. That's right. Mm -hmm. learning who we are physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, and our African ancestors have given us. They were masters in the science of the soul and the journey of the soul. So they have given us this 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 tree of life um, cosmo cosmogram for understanding who we are. To have all those seven planes through all the chakras unfold within us, so we live uh, uh, fully. Um, and then to to have right knowledge, which is under uh, nature tuhuri to you know wisdom and knowledge is wellness to, to ah. put those two together is and and you know we can't even be good clinicians unless we are teaching the folks we work with our history we, we won't understand the impacts that we have had along the way we won't understand what those traumas have been we won't understand what are contributing factors to, uh, the, you know, things that matter to us and, mm -hmm. things that and uh, tr troubling to us. So it is putting putting those together: the right relationship, right relationship with ourselves, with our partners, with our families, with our communities. Right relationship with the world and a right knowledge. Uh, more recently, and Nora can attest to this, one of the services that we are providing now in the academy is called Building the Lighted Temple Wisdom Service. Uh, it, it is um, in, to bring an in-gathering in this virtual uh, theater space, uh, those who are in that process of building the lighted temple mm -hmm. and who, what is the lighted temple? It, it is us, we are the lighted temple. Wherever we are, that temple is. And we are doing the work to uh, fortify it. So we have a fit instrument that can bear up under the spiritual impress mm -hmm. that is happening in bathing our planet at, these at this time and that we may amplify our light. So together and as one, we come into this resonant space, this, this unified field, this, 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 this vibration. Yes. In which we can amplify our vibration together. Together and as one, we are more amplified. And then we can be in the, act and duty of distributing that light in this 
uh, Aquarian Hopi uh, age of distribution, just distributing that light. So this has been the most um, recent service that we are providing. We are anchoring uh, all of what is taught here in our primal wisdom. So we are using the, the Kirtim Ru, I'll hold it up. This is our most ancient text. Yes. <laughs> we be called the Egyptian Book of the Dead by those uh, invaders of, of Africa, but our African ancestors called it the Kirtim Ru. There is no book older on your, anybody's bookshelf. This, this predates the Bible, this predates the Torah, this predates the Bhagavad Gita, this predates the Quran. Oh, yes. It all of those books. So if we want to go, we now need the most potent primal drink. We need to go to the source itself and then to be healing of those, distributing of those same waters to the world that our planet awaits our healing so we yes. can get to, we can get to the the you know back to as stewards of our earth because every kingdom now is uh in need of our stewardship the mineral kingdom you know the devastation that is happening there the 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 the, the plundering of the mineral kingdom the plundering with in the, the terms of our rainforests and the destruction, the, pl the plundering in our animal kingdom, the devastation to the animal kingdom, and the plunder and devastation within the human kingdom. I mean, yeah. If we want to know what's happening in the human kingdom, all we need to do is just turn on the nightly news to see what needs to be done. And so this building line of temple wisdom service is bringing us to that deep, uh, in, inexhaustible drink. <laughs> so that we, may, we may quench our thirsts and then distribute mightily to others. Oh, so. beautifully said, beautifully said. Would you not say that to Ray Miss Jackie, as well? <laughs> beautifully said. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's nice. the antidote and that's the... The sacred elixir and yes. you know i see where the, the new agers got the, the 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 saying oh we're light workers light workers yeah they got it from the ancient ancient uh land and space you know i'm so thankful for you dear doctor because uh you're to me you're the the ancient future you're like appearing with the with the perfect uh, uh remedy and solution for the pollution and and that's why i'm so happy that uh just to be uh a facilitator for <laughs> you to you know reach more of the people and sisters are like waking up uh and leaving us brothers in the dust and and i'm saying brothers you better catch on here because um the power the true strength the fortitude is not in the muscles but in your light and that that sacred temple, that that lighted temple, that that energetic body that you were before you entered into this carnation and who you will be. And yes, Doc, thanks for pointing out. Yes, yes. Waiting for us. Yes, oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Really immersing within the noon, the waters of noon. To to we, you know, we are. What I write about um, Merkaba energy body of light is that we are stellar beings. We come from that stellar midst and we can access in the process, process of recycling ourselves, remake the comedic technology for remaking ourselves as beings of light. You know, um, you know, and, and, and we have much to be uh, concerned about. Uh, in terms of those efforts that are happening now in this artificial intelligence to to bring us back uh, into the, the 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 mineral kingdom, we are uh, in our, our our striving 
uh, seeking to have full awareness as as stellar beings, as as beings of light, as gods in that human experience. Uh, we have built these bodies up. You know, we have. Uh, you know, we need iron in our body. We think we need these uh, heavier um, material uh, elements to build our body, but that physical body is just one part of our apparatus. We have the emotional body, the mental body, and these set the all together seven spiritual bodies that African ancestors teach us. So this, and so that comedic technology uh, that I write about is teaching us how to re-stellarize ourselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. This re-stellarization re into and to gather what is needed to to make this, you know, to fortify our this form in this moment, and to re-stellarize it, and to remake this apparatus in this moment, and then then the next, and then the next, and the next. To re if if the planet is just now coming to an awareness mm -hmm. that they have all these plastic bottles and all these that they need to recycle these things. Hello, the oceans right. are full that's of this right. stuff. This mm -hmm. is a late dawning. That's a late dawning. However, it's a good dawning. But it's we need to tap into even in Akavat, recycle ourselves. So it even at night as we sleep to move into that solarizing, restellarizing midst and to gather and gather that that stellar substance, that fiery substance that we may remake ourselves in this moment, in the next, in the next, in the next. Mm. And the technology that is in play is working in opposite of that to render us more metallic and machine-like. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, of course, you know, they're, 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 they're I can see that it is have been some benefits uh, along the way, and you know people have had needed things like a knee replacement or a hip replacement, or um, uh, you know a a a uh, what do you call it an implant for a tooth, uh, these kinds of things. <laughs> but when you start, um, you know, with the bionic eye and the heart, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and the, and the uh, there's. There's who who is it that you said, uh, Nora? Balance. Yes. We're out of balance, yes. and this is what our African ancestors see. We live. Our African ancestors teach us, which is living in harmony and balance. Harmony and balance. Truth, justice, righteous reciprocity, and and so much of, of truth is is uh, you know where is the truth mm -hmm. being told today? So many lies. To being told today, and our African ancestors teach us that we must work in this resistance, isfit, which would put the world in chaos and out of balance. So we are now at that tipping point where um, this, you know, material consciousness would have us d dive in deeper. Uh, even though we are in this dimensional shift, which is bringing the more spiritual energies to our planet in this cycle. So we're making that shift. That material consciousness wants to hold its grip. Yes, uh, yes, mm -hmm. Doc. And, and, and uh, you're saying a lot there because, you know, uh, it's the priorities. It's like, you know, you know, okay, we've been taught in Western society. We got to make it, make a material life, provide for our family and everything. But but we we've lost some some insights that we are we are gaining now. But we want the masses to gain uh, insights of what is the extreme or supreme priority on top of the list that we should take care of first before everything else. And we look at this full moon tomorrow is going to bring out a lot of what you're saying about material. Who's clinging to the material? Who's fixated on the material? There could be some um, some some pain and wake up calls on that. Or who is uh, merging, merging with the material, as you're saying, is like this discovering ourselves and all living beings and plants. And the, the water is so powerful. 
the water is being shaped by our thoughts, the molecular structure. So, okay, so the real question begs is that, have you been paying attention, family listeners, to this mm-hmm. past year and all the messages that our higher self, the creator, nature has been telling us about, oh, we got to recalibrate. This can't be no uh, business as usual no more. No. Mm-hmm. Or you might be cruising, bruising, lipping, slipping, dipping, tripping. But I'm saying to you, you are going to have to make the change in your life and have faith to do something different, to get different results. And I thank Dr. Uh, Nelson for being here, uh, Jackie Fuller, because you represent the state of being. See, as you said, Doc, there's a lot of people that they can brilliantly speak and spellbound people with their metaphysical talk, but have they have grounded into a state of being into their, you know, it's like these minds are like made after the computers now. We got computer uh-huh. minds. It's like it's computer minds, and then we try to sleep, and they want to still calculate and don't let them <laughs> who's really in control. Is the soul in control? And so, Doc, I mean, talk to us a little about, you know, you know, for one thing, identity. And we say we got to know ourselves. We've been hearing that. I mean, but so many people, when they think they know their selves, but it's not their selves that they're knowing. It is a, a utility or a a dimension it's like you know it's like um oh men we love our cars we shine our cars we we and and but we treat our cars better than we treat ourselves it's just our vehicle to get us to a destination so the destination that we want to be in doctor talk to us about that and who who's our true identity and 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 what are the moves that we can make right now to get on board of the the almighty God is programmed and synchronized with these ancient teachings and, and that are, are re yes. Reascending, reascension. reascension. Yes. Reascension. You, you, you say it so well, Torre, that my brother, that, you know, that utility, that this, this seeming instrument is just our garment, our, our apparatus for, you know, for the soul to in through in which to do its work, and that, you know, what what are what are folks identifying as? What are they identifying with? And you know, and when there's an identification in this physical form, uh, and who and all of who we are is collapsed within this flesh, blood, and bone body that as I'm fond of saying, sometimes doesn't even collect social security, <laughs> you know, um, we, you know, then then we are in a misidentification. And this is one of the biggest mental health crises. And this is what we are uh, transitioning out of in this uh, Piscean age where there is this physicalized seeming death our African ancestors teach that we are the Nehehe, we are the ever coming ones, we are eternal, we don't die. We, it, when we identify as the, the sun, the S-U-N, when we identify with the waters of new, we tap in, when we know our, our origin when we know our source and we know it is within the movement of noon that there is the arising of this seeming self that's out here in play and display uh and that we are we are um having experiences as that seeming self but we're not we're we're not that seeming self we are much 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 more and who we are can never be collapsed in this seeming appearance of 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 the self and so when we get in back of the livingness that is within us all and when we can with that that underlying unity that livingness that's within us all then we are truly living we are truly truly experiencing life and and livingness 
And these uh, impacts that happen along the way if we are in this journey, um, we, we experience them. We can even name them as things that cause us anxiety, depression, or, or give us a sense of loss or, or register as traumas. These are registrants within those vehicles as that experience. But we are much, much, much more. This is what happens when we, when we connect with other lifetimes. When we, you know, one of the ways I talk about this in my book is that uh, just as you go through your day, imagine going through your day and coming into the evening and you're resting in bed, ready to just doze off to sleep, and you hit the rewind of your day and you look at things that went well, I want to repeat that. You look at things that didn't go so well, I'll make a change. You're just reviewing your day and then you doze off to sleep. Well, then imagine the that point when you seemingly leave that incarnation and you're stepping back and you're looking at that lifetime. Mm -hmm. Well, then you, 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 th that same consciousness, that same eternal knowingness, consciousness, livingness that looked at your day is now looking at your lifetime. Yeah. So you can step back and look at that packet of mortality, may, seeming mortality that might have lasted 70 years. In the case of Trayvon Martin, it might have lasted 17. Yeah. But we can step back and look at that. Yeah. And then when we step back even further, we can look at packet after packet after packet. We can look at a, 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 a continuous stream of packets of, immort of, of mortality. That's right in an unbroken stream of immortality. That is the place of awareness we want to stand. Within that immortality, and look at those packets of mortality. So That's right. it is a joyous uh, <laughs> awareness. <laughs> this is, we, we've had a class. You, we, we've just experienced viewers, family, you know, right here, right now in Insight Light is Love, you, you have just a glimpse of what is offered through the divine, through this beloved uh, sister of ours. And I know for me, I can only speak for myself and how it has uh, nurtured my soul, you know, uh, to be in, in, in harmony with the knowledge that comes through. So we've had a, this is a beautiful example of what this beautiful sister does and how can any one of the family that's viewing they wanted to to find out more if they want to be a part of what we're just experiencing right now how would they do that dr nelson how would they do that if you're able to give them my email i can send them information it's dr natiri nelson just as it's spelled on the screen at gmail.com, D-R-N-T-E-R-I, Nelson, at gmail.com. I see Tueri's doing something over there. <laughs> uh, should I give a number two or is the email or? Sure. Uh, uh, let me, uh, let me, folks let me, can reach. Uh, it, oh, hold it, just one second. Let me pipe in first the. Uh, okay. Oh, he's typing. <laughs> and this is, this yes. is the first time I ever did this. <laughs> Uh, like this, um, uh, which means that um, I am motivated. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes. Yes, and we can we can let people know about building the light of temple wisdom service. Uh, our membership they can uh, they can join in and um, and we we are moving to in this lighted temple. We are moving in that etheric space that we hold an awareness that that temple is everywhere. Uh, we're, we're not as already um, predisposed to on this terrestrial plane to have to go to a church or, or a synagogue or um, 
we know that temple is with us at all times and we are working to yes i i i, I honor that as well and, and, and i just feel that then okay can i get the phone number please yes 617-296-7700 Seven seven nine seven. That's the Academy of Comedic Education and Wellness. For those who would like to know more about our services, that's, that's a beautiful thing. And you know, we always say um, we understand, you know, ge geography and, and how culture develops and how one can be set in in in, in a particular time frame, uh, being conditioned by a certain you know way of thinking and yes. expressing ourselves spiritually. Uh, and, and that is to be respected. Yet in these times, I personally feel and know that we must rise, us, rise up in a way that brings us in, in, in more proximity with the highest, with the truth, with the origins, you see. And with all due respect, I say that. You got to sing, Nora, <laughs> and just take us there. <laughs> Please do do will you do us the honors, Nora? And 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 I'll, I, I'm gonna I'll I'll hum in the background. With you. <laughs> well, humbly, I, humbly. I, I will. I will. Before that, though, I, you know, also uh, in terms of Sister Jackie, in terms of what you do as well. You know, is there a way if any of our family viewers want to connect with you also? Is there a way that they can connect with you that you're willing to sure, share? Thank you. Yes, um, they can go to my website. It's www.interfaithconnections.com. They can check out the project, and they also can co contact me through the web. Could you repeat that again, please? Sure. It's the website is for interfaith. Com. Did you get that though, Tuera? Did you get that? Yeah, I got it. I, I just didn't write it down because I, I okay don't have that skill yet to do two of them. But what I want to ask Jackie, you know, I wanted to hear her comments. I mean, you got to yes, please, uh, because uh, we we know that um, modesty will get you everywhere. See, we know about you, uh, uh, like you 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 like the Wizard of Oz a lots of times. You like control and everything behind the curtains, dear. And we thank you for your, your beautiful being. But any any insights for um, or what, what's in your heart uh, for the young sisters or any comments about what you heard today? Hmm. Please. Oh, um, the it, you said that yeah, song. Um, oh, yeah. 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 Miss, Miss Jackie. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. me. Miss yeah. Jackie Fuller. Yeah. Oh, OK. Um, I would definitely say for um, up, 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 up. please okay. focus on uh, <laughs> I would tell them for sure just to pursue what is them. That is interesting because um recently I spoke to my alma mater, um, my college, Marymount University, and I had a chance to speak with the communication students mm -hmm. and I was stressing the importance with them or making sure whatever they pursue professionally, that it's aligned with their passions and where they see themselves going as contributing to our society. So that's a big, and particularly with um, young women, um, particularly black women, just, um, in our environment, make sure we, I would say, be who we are. I know there's a lot of pressure sometimes in the workforce to kind of mode and conform to what what everything and everyone else is um, doing in the culture. But it's really important to be true to yourself and be expressive in the things that you leave when when those times where you have to discuss things with your colleagues. Definitely make sure you stand in your truth with that and don't let um, others, you know, situation uh, steer you of course. Just make sure you always stay true to yourself. And even for those who feel the urge to start their own businesses, I highly encourage that. That's one thing I really um, stress out a lot with the with 
the younger folks I um, interact with, if you feel that nudge to build your own, do it. Um, definitely, we need more um, of our folks businesses building our own empires so we can definitely take care of um, our folks. So big on that as well. Oh, man, thank awesome. you so much. Yes. Uh, you, you know, you, yeah. you're just like a... a Oh, yeah, go ahead. Madam. Oh, yes. Brother Torrey, uh, on the Nelson, S-O-N, Nelson, on the, on the. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Let me uh, correct Gmail, that. Gmail, Gmail, L on the. Okay. Thank you. You did say. Uh, <laughs> number with a smartphone. Technical <laughs> stuff gets me. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm like. Oh my goodness, technical stuff, huh? <laughs> but we work through it. We work yeah. through it and in it and around it and we do it. <laughs> and, oh yeah, and let's see, we got it right. Good. That's it. I love your encouraging words, Jackie. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Say exactly. Your truth. And yeah. I'm seeing a connection here with, with you both because yes. you got the uh, you got people coming across your airways, right, Jackie? Is that correct? You got a radio show, or, uh -huh. or? Uh -huh. oh yeah, oh yeah, and uh, um, it's it's uh, everybody always says it's radio. I'm thinking really I should do a radio show next, but it's 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 TV, and with um the pandemic, I transitioned to doing more things. I have oh. flexibility, freedom to, on my YouTube channel, but I'm looking into podcasting because it seems like that's an uh, area. Um, I'm being led to next and everybody always keeps asking me if I have a radio show as well. So that's something I'm yeah. looking at doing now, or maybe in, you know, combine the things I'm doing you now. You surely have a, a, a stellar sister here that would uh, light up your, yes. your audience with some <laughs> wisdom and insights. I'm seeing how things are, you know, all also connected. Yeah, yeah I've I, so just, I would <laughs> love to make a connection with you, Jackie. I would love to. <laughs> Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, Nana Nora. Yes. Wanna, oh, oh, were you going to allow the songtress to rise? Oh, please. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. You know, uh, yes. And uh, the reascension into sacred is I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit of that and, and just end with a little something else that I know that my beloved sister, you know, senses as well. Uh, but this, I'm, I, I've got her book, right? So I, I'm like, I'm going to sing this. I'm going to sing this page, right? And it says, Reascension into sacredness, though, from the elders, communicated via Dr. Materi Nelson. Mm. Reascension into sacredness, all gathering in. Reascension into sacredness. From the four winds, our elders are related by the dawning of this hour. They stand in witness to this day, feel their great power. Overrising oh, suns inside, the rising suns inside. The rising sun's inside, the rising sun's inside. We emerge from the darkness, eons long was night. We come now to serve and save the rising sun's inside. The rising sun's inside. The rising suns inside, the rising suns inside, the rising suns inside. And this <laughs> family viewers know this. There is more, there is more that is required of us. And right now will your spirit, your mind, your heart, your soul now say yes. And, and if spirit tells us what is really needed, and you heard that today, would y'all 
spirit, your heart, your mind, your soul. Now say yes. Say it. Say yes. 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 We did. Let's say yes. All of us did. Let's say yes. 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 <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, much love. Thank what, you. What, what you sense though when you hear my voice is what I sense when I hear you and when you hear each other. It's 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 the divine spirit vibrational frequency of our deep, deep soul. Our souls are that are one. In oneness we are, are we not? We are, and we we went to Kemet as as a, as a group, uh, our academy, and we we sang in the Great Pyramid of Khufu. Ooh. Yes, we did. We yes, we, we did. And and chant. It was just. It was just glorious. It was just. We came before. So we came so before glorious. that presence, did we not? Yes. And we allowed yes. allowed the the vibrational sound. You know, we stayed in there for me. It was our time, yes. and, and 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 the spirit took us. You know, to a higher, higher, and higher vibrational frequency in there. It's a powerful structure, architectural structure, divine structure to to raise the our voices within and to be called to to raise. Uh, and that was a mighty. It was a mighty powerful, mighty powerful. Indeed. Yeah. 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 Terry, I'm saying you know that you know that you know uh, you you're in the gnosis beyond time and form in your true self. And you recognize Nana Nura. She carries the pyramid frequency magic wherever she is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's not just some sound coming out, but these tones that she is bringing forward is actually going in and moving yes. and affecting. You could feel you could there's something happening deeper than just a uh, sensual gratification and we we see this about her and we know that we have to fan her fire for her to come fan forward. her fire come on, yeah. come on. Fan, fan that fire so that you may that that vibration that that frequency may go out and when you sing in the presence of others they will be healed you have that power of healing just sing, just and spirit will give you the song, will give you the right vibration, and just sing, and they are heal you, bringing that 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 the waters of noon to them, and that vibration you bringing. You know, some sometimes folks are not always able to carry themselves there, so you mm -hmm. bring it and bring that starry background that Torre has, you know. That, <laughs> Just, uh, we gotta get him to put the L in Gmail, but get the stop. <laughs> I think people will figure it out. But no, this is good. <laughs> but but that's powerful, Nora. You have that. You have that. You you walk into a room and you'll just sing, and people will be healed. People will be healed instantaneously. Instantaneously. Uh, I, I, and Tor, Tori, I, I such praise and appreciation that you have founded this beautiful platform in which to be a distributor of that light and and for Nora to come here with you. Well, you've that. been on the path inspiring us for quite a while now, and I'm so mm -hmm. I'm aware of you. Uh, I'm, I'm saying that uh, I'm so proud to, to know you and to 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 bear witness that there are those that are are whoa vibing at and, and I want to say vibing at such a high frequency when you talk about things like none you know the waters and you know uh and family we gotta see that there are many different ways to say a thing and many different ways to hear a thing said. Mm -hmm. And you know when you talk going back to ancient to the source to the origin of things we want to know how they said things i mean we've been yes handed, yes yeah. we've been handed these ways how to say things you know and changing around what they taught us like michael jackson said you yeah. change around the word bad to say i'm bad okay so yeah we can redefine but we want to go back to the source do that sankofa back and and dr naturi nelson 
is representing this really powerful uh, insight and uh, way of life and teachings. Uh, you know, you know, the, the nun, the, these waters, uh, you know, uh, even um, uh, amen, amen. We're talking about people get, everybody's saying amen in all the religions, but they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen. We're yeah. talking about an existence beyond time and space and form and name. You know, you can't take your mind there to know that. And we get to see words can point to like a sign. They point to a place to experience that's deeper than words. And this is where the final frontier is. Ah, so let the space subtle you come alive and arrive. I'm so thankful. Back home, back home. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. awesome. Yes. So powerful. So, so powerful. Thank yes. you so much. Oh, my God. No words. Woof. <laughs> and and once, once again, once again, uh, we'll go Jackie first. Please um, tell again how uh, you can be contacted. Sure. Uh, again, you can reach out to me on my website and you can do that at www.interfaithconnections.com. Excellent. Thank you for your beautiful presence. And I, I look forward to, to hearing from you. And uh, mm -hmm. once again, Dr. Natera Nelson, please tell us. Yes. You can email me at Dr. Natera Nelson at gmail.com. That's D R N T E R I Nelson at gmail.com. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And yes. I thought and also, I... also the phone number is 617-296-7797. That's our academy number. 617-296-7797. And let us know how we can share the coursework and the services that we offer. Yes, come and join us. Come and join us. So one of us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This has been just the best, best, oh. best experience. And I hope yes. Doc, is everything spelled right now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think so. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Good, good. Beautiful. And yes. I, I, I look forward to, you know, whenever you have any time. I, what I would like to know and as an astrologer is more about the um the names, the, the ancient names of the, okay. yes. it. Is, it is in here. Yes. It is in there? Yes. And, and, I, I, and I'll, I'll cause you to have a more recent copy so uh, so you can yeah, share it. More recent. Uh, you, you can let me know the best way to get a more recent copy. But I do a comedic energy reading with the you know the initiates in the academy. I do. I do comedic energy readings. Y'all hear that? Y'all know yeah. where to go. <laughs> yeah, you listen that, to all in it. That's where yeah. I first started. Yeah. Yes. That was one of the first things we did. She said, no, you got to get the basic astrology book. That you got to know yourself. Yeah, know you yourself. Know? And so, yes, and then then you'll be able to go forth with, with, with such love and compassion to understand and, and uh, others as well. Yes. Oh, thank you so much, Baraka. You all have just made my day. You're beautiful beings. And I hope, family, I hope those who listen to this can really soar and and open up and heal and, and move forward in the very, oh, like Nana Nura's songs. Yes, <laughs> yes, like rise it. up. Let's rise up. <laughs> rising up time. Rise up. Ascension. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tore, for inviting me today. And, and Nora, thank you so much. And wonderful to meet you, Jackie, and hear about your wonderful work. And and may all good things, great things come your way as yes. you can journey yes love you, that's love right you, love you. and jackie i'm I, i'm sure we'll be talking yes. more thank you, likewise. thank you so much everyone and, all right and have oh, a beautiful sure. rest of your day click click the like button <laughs> 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 bye 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 hotel hotel okay hotel hotel, hotel. Right, bye